Hey everyone, uh, just pull up the trailhead. Everybody's getting their trucks unloaded for this uh, trail ride I organized. Uh, not as many people showed up as I hoped, but um, still got a decent crowd coming up to go wheeling to try and see how far we get up uh, Flathead Pass here. <clears throat> so I came up here uh, earlier in the week and uh, the um, trailhead has about a 12 inch deep uh, snow drift. I mean not 12 inch, but a 12 foot deep snow drift about 40 feet long. But it'll look like 12 inches because it's war uh, warm enough. We might be able to float on top, but we'll see. <clears throat> and I'm breaking Big Blue out um, since I've re done a bunch of work to it. I've been posting uh, pictures and videos on the Facebook page with the off-road design uh, winch bumper and winch I put on it. And then I put a um, shackle mount on the back. So there's my little tow point on the back. Uh, as far as law enforcement knows, this is technically a rear bumper, even though it don't span the whole side of the body. but. Yeah, I just welded on some D-rings on uh, some quarter-inch uh, thick steel uh, rectangular tubing and then I made my own little bumper mounts on the side so I got a tow point in the back here. So I got these. If I wouldn't have uh, waited so long, I could have put some D-ring mounts like the Offshore Design bumper has. Yeah, so there's uh, Tyler and his truggy. Oh shit, your windshield is dirty as shit, isn't it? Wipers are frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his headlights and everything too. Those wipers are frozen too, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And my buddy Aaron from uh, Billings came here with his uh, Forerunner to come snow wheeling. I want to curious see how this guy does up in the mountains today. He's running 42 inch. Uh, what are these, Eric? Uh, Wrangler MTRs on this? Yeah, 42 inch Wrangler, Goodyear Wrangler MTRs. We got a guy coming along with us here. What was your name again? Jake. Jake? That's right. Yeah, Jake come out to wheeling with us is Tacoma. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah, you did have a winch on this thing. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> good to yeah. get stuck in the field. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then there's the wizard off in the distance there, putting on his tires. And another part of the group that come up with this, so supposedly they're supposed to be uh, at the trailhead waiting on us, so we'll see. Well, here we are at the head of the trail here. All right, well now it's my turn. Just had to do this quick video clip here. Soft spot. Ah. Yoda on some 42s. Well, we stopped, caught up to the other group that was uh, part of our trail ride here. Um, but now one of our guys is having problems with the transmission. Uh, the old truggy's locked in gear. He can't put it in gear right now, so we're trying to figure that part out. Then uh, possibly get him limped home, and we're going to continue on here. Well, there goes my buddy Aaron right there, crawling along on his hillside. Making a pretty good trail. I'll zoom out here. Here's everybody else that's uh, going on this with us. Yeah. Well, we're going down to do a little recovery here. Uh, old uh, Merlin the Wizard's uh, tire popped off the bead. It's a pretty good snow here. So we're organizing a bunch of people down to get him up and going again. Oh, find him. If you can't find him, you can grind him. Here we go, coming around a corner. Almost want to sing that song. Remember that one back in the day, Eric? When she's coming around a corner or something, the old lady or whatever it coming is. Coming around the mountain when she, she comes. comes. Yeah, coming around the mountain when she comes. She's soft. soft yeah, soft. Well, it's all soft here. Yeah, for the first time wheeling with the full size guys, I'm the lightest truck.
section. That old 14 bolt. <laughs> Nice today. Perfect snow. <laughs> yeah, I can tell it's up at an elevation that's idling, that's not idling as high as it usually does. Because lower elevation it goes, the higher it idles. Just getting saturated with more fuel than usual, you know? Yeah, we still got a couple more miles to make it to the um, top. Oh yeah. Still got that other long section, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There he goes. Well, never mind the cracked windshield. There he goes. Yeah, I don't think I'm light enough to float like he does. I think I'll just sink if I try to attempt that. Okay, here comes the polar, well, I mean Betty White, what we named it. Or Snow White, not Betty White. I don't want to uh, insult my buddy uh, Jason Fleury. Yeah, Merlin's gonna see that and go, holy shit. Yeah. Okay, here comes the wizard. Yeah. Well, here comes uh, Joe's brother, that's his name, from Freedom Off Road. Here comes the rest of the guys. Trail leader Aaron. Yeah. My heavy pig just couldn't do the trail leader stuff here. So there he goes, cruising along. Okay. What do you gotta do though? Yeah, because he knows we're waiting on the crowd to show up here. Truck's shaking the truck, I mean, the idol's shaking the truck so much that it was jarring my camera around. Yeah. That's actually a pretty good video right there. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ.
Guys, look at the footprint from those tires baking out. Mm-hmm. Radials, man. Yeah. I looked into those. Gonna, and well, he's packing a trail for me. Uh, my heavy Chevy here just keeps floating, sinking. We just hit some soft spots here. It's just getting tougher and tougher as we get higher up here. Well, we didn't make it quite to the top, uh, according to Matt with his, uh, I forget the name of the app we use to do the um, trails around here. We're 0.4, uh, 0.4 miles from the top, but the snow's too soft and sugary. All we've been doing is hitting holes and sinking the whole way. Um, it was easier down below farther, but it's been a challenge up here. And back to the other spot, people were having problems getting stuck, so they're getting turned around. So we're going to head on out. So I'll do a little more footage on the way out of here. It comes a polar, well no, it's uh, Snow White, we changed the name to it. Because it's a heavy bitch. It's not a Polar Express because it don't snow wheel very well. It's the heaviest rig out of everybody on the trail here. Alright. That's what they're saying. Yeah. Well, that don't sound good anymore. Yeah, so we're not exactly all turned around like I thought. Something hurting that thing here. Oh, oh shit, Bob Chevy. That's hard. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like she is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, getting your money for her. <laughs> yeah. I feel it for a while. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did up there too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well Aaron, he would just pull me uh, right through these great big holes. <laughs> but he's like, well I'll come down and start getting these guys pulled up here and then I went to move rolled five feet and I suck it right down to the axles again. Yeah, there he goes, keep it going. There's a quick one easy for you. Yeah. That's what steer be so Ow! sweet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there goes Merlin. Holy oh, shit. Damn. Oh, it breaks. Got scared. Yeah. yeah. Missed, the breaks. Yeah. Heading on home. <laughs> Didn't do a whole lot of recording today because we were having yeah. fun. Yeah. <laughs> Taking other people out. Taking ourselves out a little. Snow was good and bad yeah. and ugly. Yeah. <laughs> and now we got this highway in front of us. Packed really nice, but yeah. right now it's kind of turning into ice. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron said he's not disappointed at all about coming here. <laughs> oh, he got too fast to hit the ruts, didn't he? Well, let's see if this uh, snow wheel and butt truck does here. <laughs> snow wheel and the mud truck. <laughs> That's what's so funny. <laughs> Side hills back there, the boggers did bogger things and slid down this hill. <laughs> yeah, had a hairy moment, but we didn't get it on film. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We didn't get it on a film because we were too busy yeah. trying to forge a plan yeah. and execute it. Down on the Flathead Pass, um, everybody went home. We're just uh, loading up, and I got my tires aired up, and uh, my new my buddy Aaron's uh, got his truck loaded up. Uh, we're gonna head out and uh, go down to a place called Manhattan Saloon to go have dinner and have a few drinks and shit. So if you guys are in the Manhattan area, go to the Manhattan Saloon, or as uh, some of the locals call Manhattan, uh, the Little Apple of Montana. Until I see you guys in the next adventure, um, have fun and enjoy the trails when you can.